Hello, hello again, deal sourcing part three. So we already discussed in the first part, what, what is it, what do you need to become compliant, okay? It's in the first video. In the second video, we discussed how to speak with estate agent, how to present yourself, okay, on the viewings. Okay, another thing is, uh, you probably know already what you want to focus on. If it's BRR, if it's lease option agreement, if it's rent to rent service accommodation, if it's rent to rent HMO, or is it HMO, is it buy to rent to service accommodation? It can be a lot of things what you can focus on, okay? So if you know what you want to focus on or two, three things, amazing, okay? Now I would like to do a couple of more things, and this is gonna be focused basically on um, how to, what to do, how to package the deal, what to do about it, okay? What are the steps? Because I want to tell you something. If you have a deal, you know, and you're gonna send it to me, and you're gonna meet, send me the bullet point. What is the purchase price? You know, what was the asking price? How much? You, how much you negotiated? What is gonna be the rent? What is gonna be the refer cost? What's gonna be the end value? What is it? You know, and you're gonna send me some bullet points. That's maybe nice. Okay, I can send it to my investor list. That's fine. But after, I'm gonna be speaking with the investor over the phone. And then he, when he pays me the sourcing fee and he signs the terms and conditions, I need to send him the full package. He really needs to see that we are professionals and we know what we are doing, okay? So, and I think if you will be starting with co sourcing and working, working with other deal sources like me or anybody else, so this is something what we will require from you, okay? Because if you are not able to do the full deal package, okay, how we know that you've done proper due diligence? And one, in the full, full deal package, you know, you can check the link below. Over there, I'm, um, you know, having the deal sourcing material so you can get all the contracts and all the full deal package, how it looks like. But I'll just tell you what, what it should be in it, okay? So in the deal package should be some photos of the property, definitely some photos of the property, you know, uh, the area, where is it, in which city it is, what is good about the area. If it's, for example, for uh, HMO, how you're gonna fill the HMO? It'll be students, it'll be professionals. If it's students, where is the university? How, how close is the university? Okay, if it's professionals, what professionals are there? What jobs are there? Okay, uh, what's the uh, something about the city? What's the population? What, something, some basic information so the investor will have a feel about that because a lot of investors, let's say they'll be from London, but you'll be in uh, Midlands and you will find a deal, but they don't have a time to go there maybe to view the property. They just want to, you know, uh, see some videos, some photos, and they want to make their own conclusion and due diligence. So more information you will give him, so more quickly the investor can do the decision to buy the deal or not. So more precise you'll be, bigger chances for your success, okay? So this is another thing. Very important thing in the deal package, you should put that, what is the, let's say if it's a BRR deal, so what is the new GDV, gross development value? What's the new value of the property after it? You're gonna put there some money and you're gonna refurbish it. How are you gonna find the GDV? Okay, this is another question, and uh, I can shoot another video just about that, okay? But should be that GDV. How much the refurbishment cost? How, and if you put that 20,000, what is in the 20,000? What are you gonna do? And how did you come up with that number? Do you have uh, some builders uh, in touch and they, they confirm? Or do you have some spreadsheet and you know how much roughly what, what cost? Or are you building yourself? How much did you come with that number? And how much it's gonna rent for if the, if the, um, investor will buy it and they will keep it and refinance, how much is going to be the rent for? Okay, uh, if we know how much is the rent for, how did you come up with the rent? Show me the comparable, put it in the deal package, put that the comparables, I want to see, okay? Um, the same with the GDV, I want to see the comparables or sold prices and also about uh, another valuation which can be done, okay? So these are a few things which needs to be in the deal package. Should be there, uh, I would put in the deal package link maybe on your company, you know, so you can get the better, more attention, okay? Uh, so should be there uh, some calculation, definitely calculation. How did you come up with the ROI, for example? How much uh, they are, the investor wants to see how much the money he will need to put in. Because people have money on the account, let's say 100,000, and if you're gonna present him the deal, which is 200,000, uh, it's the, the value of the property and you want to spend 20,000 for refurbishment. So, you know, he wants to make the, make the life simpler for him. Show him, if he puts 200,000, he will pay 25% 25% deposit, which is 50,000. 20,000 to refurbishment cost, 5,000 sourcing fee, valuation, valuation cost, broker cost, okay, solicitor cost, um, if it's by refurbishment finance, maybe refinance, when he'll be refinancing, he'll have this cost again, okay? You can make the package uh, and the calculation as much as you can, everything in there, how much is the total money he needs to invest now, how much uh, money he will left in the deal after you refinance the deal, okay? 
when he refinances the new value, how much he gonna get? He'll pay back the mortgage what he had, or bridging, or cash, and uh, what what is gonna be left in the deal for him? How much money he will have, he'll have uh, in the rent? What are all the expenses you need to deduct? You know, it's different for single let. If it's different for service accommodation, it's different for HMO. You need to know how to do it. Okay, all the calculations. How much is the profit per month, per year? How to how did you cal calculate the return on investment? And bingo, you, you your deal it's packaged. Okay. So more information, you can put their graphs about capital appreciation in the area. If you are in the area like, I don't know, some better cities, or not better cities, like bigger cities, I want to say, like Manchester, Liverpool, where the capital appreciation is growing, it will be much different decision for him. It will be for, let's say, I'm in the northeast, sourcing malls in Durham, where the capital appreciation is not growing like that, but investors are investing there because they want building a cash flow. So we'll have a different investor for building a cash flow and want to quick, big passive income to build, or different for investor who is having a lot of passive income already, or he's having a good job where he's not worried about the cash flow to hit for him and he doesn't want to quit the job, you know, he loves it, so maybe he won't, he's just having a hundred thousand pound and he wants to invest them somewhere for capital appreciation because he knows that properties double every 10 years and it's a good investment to be become a property investor and have this piece of real estate, okay? So different investors, different things. So include that everything into your deal package because this is something what you're gonna have to do, okay? So, and again, I want to say, if you would like the deal package, just follow the link, which is uh, somewhere uh, in the description, and you can uh, get all these contracts, uh, NDA, terms and conditions, deal package, and uh, some other videos from that, um, into that, in, in that package. And also one more thing, if you haven't watched yet, I shoot a great video about ultimate success formula. There are four steps, how you can become successful in anything what you do. So check the video right now. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.